Good morning, folks. It's a fine morning this morning. Heading to work. I am Nate. Welcome to Bissell Maple Farm's YouTube channel. And today's a big day. We've got a vacuum pump coming in. It's a new Atlas Copco technology. It's a claw pump designed a little differently. So it's not a DZS150. It is a DZS150A, as in Apple. And the DZS150A is about 10 decibels quieter. It runs cooler. And it was built by the Atlas Copco vacuum division, which the prior one was built by the Atlas Copco compressor division. So this is the same, but different. And we were lucky enough to get one of the first ones here in the US. And we're gonna take it to my buddy Matt Emmerich's place to test it. He already has a DZS150 on one of his woods. And this unit will be at a woods where he previously ran a Seahe water-cooled vacuum pump. And um, yeah, kind of excited about it. So yeah, thanks for stopping by. Catch you at the end. Dean, you're a little uh, rusty. That's the old age. <laughs> Did you say it's the old age? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. So this is one we're going to re put a new motor on, or we're waiting on one. We're waiting we? on this carcass. Yeah. On the carcass. So this is my dad's work area, which has been hidden for a very long time, but now that this wall's gone, I'm afraid my dad's tools and Fred's tools, they're gonna walk off. Who's the primary culprit of that? <laughs> I don't know, a lot of people. I'm trying to press this uh, thing off. Off the keyway there? Uh -huh. How do you know you need to? Well, I don't, but I also want to know how the thing's made. Oh, yeah? We service them, but it looks like it was... I got the bolt out of here, this one that holds that on. So you can't just grab it and pull it off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm hoping that this... Does it go inside there, push against something? That's Yeah, it looked like it, because I've threaded it on quite a ways. I wish it was not that hard. I don't like that. So this is a different project we're working on. It is, yeah. This one is for Nick Wendell's customer. Right. Gearbox. Seems like it's moving to me. The gearbox? Yeah, this isn't a gearbox issue, is it? Or no, what? it's the claws on the end. I, I had got to you. frame up yesterday the torch. So nervous. <laughs> there it is. This is what we were waiting for, Anna. There it is. set it right here if you want. So this is the pump. Does it have a different shroud on it, Fred? It looks wider maybe. There it is. 150A. DZS 150A. It's here. You got a rotating dad? The arrow's going this oh, way. Yeah. Yeah, I see it spinning in there. Yep. He's got it uh, spinning. That's a good start. He's got it spinning the right way. Well, so that's a good start. We don't want it to. Are you, have you just guessed every time, or what? Red, white, and black. Just put them in the same place? Yeah, that end, just the same red, white, and black, that end, red, white, and black. Yeah, it's different, isn't it? Like the design's a little squatter. 
I don't see where it's running in here. Well, you can see the the oil that's, fill. That's where the oil is. How is the oil? <laughs> so it's got a different muffler here, Fred. It's definitely different. Uh, it looks good. About in the middle. Uh, yeah, three quarters. What are you doing? I'm clocking out. You're done? Yeah. What do you mean clocking out? You you get paid for this? Yeah, I get paid to have fun. All right, I'll see you tonight. You make my fingers hurt. My fingers hurt. Oh, well, oh. now your back's going to hurt because you just pull landscaping duty. Hmm. Anybody else's fingers hurt? I see you brought your own tools. Why? Because you never know what's here and where it's at. It's all Fred's fault. Yeah. While we sit here and watch some paint dry, it gives me a moment to tell you about Dean. He's a pretty good teammate. Dean's been here for about five years. We've been working together. And the interesting thing about Dean is his flexibility and his versatility. There isn't much about our business that Dean doesn't know. And he's pretty much done every job. And he's a team player. If you ever ask Dean, hey, would you be willing to do this? He'll do it. it might not be his favorite thing, but uh, Dean is a team player, and I'm, I'm grateful that he's on our team. One of the great things about what I get to do is, in building a business, is you get to watch people grow and learn. And I don't think there's anybody that I've seen grow and as much as Dean has. So, I'm grateful he's on the team. Get a second to look at these claws. I will definitely make an episode over what we have done to mitigate this. This is one of our first pumps we put into service and we've learned a lot since then. But uh, we definitely have some prevention and we'll make an episode for you. There's the man, there's my dad. He's been putting drives, variable frequency drives, on vacuum pumps for us for five, six years. And uh, he's a good deal. Sure looks different, doesn't it? That's different. Covers look different. Cover definitely looks different. Just looking at it. What do you need a strap for? Well, you know the highway patrol, they kind of... Where, where's it gonna go? Secure loads. Where is it gonna go? Why strap it down? We're fine. Where's it gonna go? Where is it gonna go? How many maple farmers does it take to use a ratchet strap? Nice. Okay. That's good.
sled you what got up an hour and a half ago? Uh, yeah, I got up at four thirty. So about two hours. Gotcha. So Fred was up at four thirty. Before breakfast. And it's six thirty. The goal was to leave by six. But uh, old Nate wasn't ready. So Fred's grabbing us coffee, and then we're gonna head to Matt's. Matt has a plan to lift the vacuum pump up by the eye bolt on the top, so we'll see if it works. So Fred's grabbing the coffee. You wanna put it in your coffee cup? Yeah. Fred, this rash is awful. Does it itch? Yeah, I got a rash. Because they made me work the other day. And I'm allergic to work. And uh, Fred doesn't feel bad at all. Like I touched a bourbon barrel the other day. Just I didn't think just touching a bourbon barrel and moving it along would, would give me a rash. But that was enough. That was enough to do it.